So anyway, I thought I'd show you how I'm putting together my Triumph, the hood. Let's see, first I put the straps on. I did it kind of like these instructions show. 15 and 3 quarter inches by, for the first strap, then 8 inches. So, this in the mail. This is my new top, Robbins, made in USA. British sports car. So anyways, I'll to show you. Kind of comes in the bag. Open it up. Like this. There's this. Does this little flap. You know these uh, tissue papers to keep that back. Nice and clean. And then let's put the papers on here. So, anyways, <clears throat> the top you got to fit on the car. And just throw it up here like this. Try not to scratch the vinyl window. And then you just now, now I noticed that it had a it had a little midline right here, so I'll match the midline right here. Because uh, I put a midline right here on my car, so I'm going to match their little midline right there with my midline. And then I'm going to put the top, so it goes right over those two little snaps. And I'm going to mark where those snaps are and then we'll pop out. Take those holes. Okay. Alright, so I got a little bit of white out, so I'm just gonna mark this one here. Wink. Mark this one here. Wink. And I think that's that's all I'm gonna do for now. Um catching the lift the dot fasteners. What I did is I I put the first two already, and then what I'm doing is I'm putting the the dots so that they're sideways and kind of to the outside. This just you can do it either this way or this way, but anyway, I'm doing it that way. I just put those two, but I'm gonna put I put this corner one in. I just kind of like fasten these down. I'll just show you how I do the next one. Just kind of line it up, feel where the uh, feel where the little hole is or where the hole's supposed to be, and then I just push. Put this, position it kind of where I want it, near the edge, like that, and right over the hole. Push down like that, so it makes those little marks. It's really good, you can push it all the way through, but I'm just going to make the marks, and then I'm going to punch it through with like a sharp uh, razor blade type knife here, like this one. There's one. Two, three, four, and then this should go, this should go in there, just like, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is, I got a hole punch and I'll go inside and then I'll, I'll punch out the hole. It's going to have... Here, why don't you bring the camera closer? I zoomed in. It's going to have a, um, a, a hole, which I punched out. And <clears throat> so that's all I have to do. It's right in the middle. So what I did is I, I bought this uh, hole punch from uh, Moss Motors. And it used to have four little prongs on the ends. I just knocked them off with a hammer. They're pretty easy to knock off because they're hardly even on there. And then now I have this, this middle hole thing. And I was having trouble because using all four of those and I was, when I was using all four of them and I was pounding it with the hammer, I could hardly make, make a nice cut because there's so much stuff that had to, had to go through. And once I knocked them off, I just have the middle. It goes through pretty easy, so that's what I'm doing. I just take off one of these. I line it up so it's right in the middle. Take my hammer. 
and it punches out a nice little hole here. Oops, I get it all the way through. Just like that. So it has a nice little hole, and you put the, the fastener on it, and then there's a backing. This is how you do the backing. Notice I, I put the dot on the outside, or where it says dot, line it up to where the dot is on the other side. Just do that. Take some needle nose pliers. I have to bend the tabs. Probably, I find it best that if you just bend them in like this, it works pretty good just because it's a little bit more comfortable with the finger. So I just put that. There it goes. There's one. All done. Alright, so now I've got, as you can see, most of the snaps on in the back. Looks pretty good. I didn't put this one in the corner down yet because what I want to do is I want to line, line it up first. I want to put this I'm going to put the frame up and you can see the rib goes right along this this here which is good and the second one goes right there although there's a little bit of a wrinkle on the top I'm not sure how, how come that happened and then what I did is I put these little snaps one in that corner and one in that corner and then I just attach them because I knew those snaps had to go right in the corners and then I marked with a little white out each one of the little spots where see where those little rivets go so the next thing I'm going to do is put those in alright as you can see I'm punching out the holes with my handy dandy hole punch and then put in in the fastener okay put the fasteners on and I'm putting it on the car just see how they fits and it's it's okay there's a little bit of looseness here maybe but that's I think that'll um, I'll stretch out once this uh, gets uh, put in the sun and the hood gets tightened down because it really gets tight. The one thing it's got is a flap. This little thing here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this flap and I think I'm just going to cut it off because I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of a, it looks like a gap, but really there is no way the the water can get up in there because the, uh, well, let's see if I can get these things up. Because the, uh, As you can see here, this little, it's supposed to be folded over and then right here is like the top of the windshield. But look how this is like even with, with the windshield bracket. Well, mine's not. Mine's extending halfway up this knob right here. So I can't really fit this flat, this thing on here very easily. So I'm just going to cut it off. I don't think you need it. Alright, so this the top is now on. And as you can see, the uh, these uh, ribs line up with the, the seams right here. A little bit slight little wrinkle here, I'm not sure about that, but maybe it'll go away in time. Anyway, it's okay. Here's the front. Fasteners all in, it's really tight to get it on at first, but now it's pretty easy. It's been on there for about a couple of weeks. You can see underneath, there's a. this is how they, they situate. And inside, this is how it looks. There is the, you know, the bar. This is the front. <clears throat> and what I did is you can see how it fits pretty nice and snug up there and what I did is I I clipped off this part it just wouldn't fit so 
So the main thing is that it fits nice and that's all there is to it.